Darth Vader versus Kylo Ren, who was more evil? In this video, let's compare the two main villains of the original and sequel trilogy, primarily using the following criteria. First, their reasons for turning to the dark side. Second, their evil acts during their reign. And third, their path to redemption. Starting off first with Vader, regarding his fall to the dark side, we have to consider his psyche as a character. As a boy who grew up a slave, we find that this would instill a strong sense of justice in him as he observed the inequality and unfair circumstances surrounding his youth. To sum up the cause of Anakin's downfall, it would be his unyielding attachment to the people he loves. To quote Obi-Wan in the Revenge of the Sith novelization, Anakin is loyal to people, not principles. As the council had warned Qui-Gon, Anakin was too old to begin his Jedi training, as he had already formed emotional attachments by then, which became a foothold for the dark side. The death of Anakin's mother was a significant driver for him, not so much in the sense that it caused him to unleash a murderous fury throughout the raiders' camp, but that it solidified the notion that he would do anything in his power to prevent the demise of any more of his loved ones. Subsequently, the biggest driver for his downfall would undoubtedly come in the premonitions of Padme's death. Now there is a difference between attachment and love. Jedi aren't forbidden to love, but they are prohibited from becoming attached. It becomes an issue of how tight a grip that a person holds on their loved ones, a dangerous notion for Jedi given their exposure to the power they have. If Anakin had been willing to let Padme go and accept her fate, his transformation into Darth Vader would never have happened. Anakin's unyielding attachment made him ripe for the entices of Palpatine, a father figure who held out hope for the one thing he was looking for. By this time also, Anakin's faith in the Jedi Council had drastically waned, at least from two separate incidents, one of them being a perceived unfairness in the treatment of Ahsoka, and second from being denied the rank of master, although being admitted into the council. Now, as I mentioned in Obi-Wan's words earlier, Anakin is loyal to people, not principles. Such an emotional disposition would inevitably cause him to see the Jedi as being an enemy to his wife, an enemy that threatens her very existence, and therefore evil. As for Kylo Ren, he was burdened with lofty expectations and a complex legacy. Being a descendant with the mighty Skywalker blood, Ben Solo was naturally someone whom the forces of light and darkness would contend over. Ben himself recognizes this in his youth, when he gripes that both Skywalker and Snoke have dehumanized him by seeing him as just a legacy. Even from childhood, Ben was under the concealed influence of Palpatine through Snoke at an even younger age than Vader was in his youth. To make things worse, both of Ben's parents were mostly absent, with Han going off on his own adventurous pursuits while Leia was busy with her political career. The pivotal point for young Ben would come when Luke was able to send Snoke's evil influence over him. Tragically, instead of helping his nephew through his darkness, Luke makes the colossal mistake of attempting to eliminate him in his sleep. To put it simply, everyone who has held legitimate authority over him has turned out to be a disappointment or a threat. In a twist of logic, Ben sees the turning of Vader back to the light side as a mistake and vows to finish what he started, the complete subjugation of the galaxy and the final destruction of the Jedi. So when looking at their reasons for turning to the dark side, we can see that Vader had a much more compelling reason to do so than Kylo Ren. It was a misguided attempt by Anakin, but it was still driven out of love for his wife, albeit you could say there was an element of selfishness involved too. Furthermore, there is somewhat of a situation where Anakin is locked into the dark side with Palpatine. He swore allegiance so as to learn the power to overcome death, not to mention there is still the governing body of the Republic that soon began to turn on the Jedi. Even if Anakin tried to leave, he would become a hunted enemy of the state. Contrast this with Kylo Ren. Sure, his life was in danger after Luke tried to kill him, but Ben could have taken other measures instead of embracing the dark side. He could have fled to another system and possibly waited for a time before trying to contact his parents over what had happened. Also, what makes Ben's conversion all the more worse is that he had Darth Vader as an example of what not to become. For him to embrace the dark side was an insult to his grandfather's legacy and amounts to spitting in the face of his parents. 
one can only wonder the level of deception and delusion surrounding Ben to repeat the mistake of his grandfather. So in terms of their reasons for turning to the dark side, it seems that Kylo Ren had a less reasonable cause for his conversion, and in that sense, that makes him more evil than Darth Vader. Next, let's take a look at their most evil deeds. Over the course of their time in the dark side, both Vader and Kylo have committed innumerable atrocities worthy of a death sentence. One can only estimate their casualty count from supporting their respective regimes, but it would amount in the billions when you take into account the destruction from the Death Star and the Star Killer base. For Vader, perhaps the most chilling crime he committed was the elimination of the Jedi younglings during Order 66. It's one thing to have them eliminated on command, but it's a whole other level of visceral brutality to do it by your own hand. Then we also have Vader's general merciless nature, where even the commanders under him are subject to death in the event of failure. Kylo Ren's most blatant character flaw would be his uncontrolled anger, but to his credit, he doesn't execute any of his subordinates should they disappoint him. His most egregious crime, in my opinion, would be his act of patricide in the murder of Han Solo. However, I feel that Vader's act of eliminating younglings is worse than Kylo Ren's act of killing Han. The younglings were innocent and had done nothing to offend Anakin. Ben Solo probably had a lifetime of resentment against Han, which while doesn't justify the act, may have been a huge influencing factor in his choice to commit the act. Then there's also the length of time they spent in the dark side. Anakin became Vader at around his early 20s and died at around his early 40s. So that's about 20 years of time to allow his nefarious deeds to accumulate. And as we've seen, he was almost always merciless throughout. In contrast, Kylo Ren's reign of evil lasted at most 7-8 to eight years, a lot less time in comparison for him to rack up his misdeeds. So in terms of their scope of evil deeds, it would seem now that Vader is more evil than his grandson in this aspect. And lastly, let's take a look at their path to redemption. Both characters gave their lives at the end in their conversion back to the light. For Vader, this redemption lay in the act of saving his son. For Kylo Ren, his turn back to the light side appears to be triggered by three things. Snoke's harsh treatment of him, his mother reaching out to him in the force, and Rey showing him an act of mercy by healing him. In comparing the two, I'd say that Vader was tougher to convert back to the light than Ben. He was stuck in his evil ways to the point that it took witnessing the near death of his son to convince him to change. For Kylo Ren, his conversion appears to be rather abrupt and out of left field and relatively easier to bring about. Of course, it does pain him in a negative light in showing him to be rather wishy-washy and unstable in his resolutions. But overall, in terms of their path to redemption, I'd say that Kylo Ren was more easily brought back to the light, which makes him less evil than his grandfather in this regard. So to sum up, while Vader's turning to the dark side might have been more reasonable, he has a longer tenure of evil with the more wicked deeds, combined with a more resistant attitude in terms of holding on to the dark side. For those reasons, I submit that Vader can be seen to be more evil than Kylo Ren. But what do you think? Is Vader more evil than his grandson? Let me know in the comments and leave a suggestion for another comparison while you're at it.